everybody welcome back sorry it's been such a delay uh, slow month here i haven't really had any watches i wanted to buy or check out uh hopefully that picks up in the next few weeks but i got a cool one here uh as you guys all know the cartier style watches have been something i've really been searching for lately and the santos is my favorite that i've ever seen I suspect and Son came out with a Santos. I don't know if it's been out forever and I just missed it or if it's new, but damn, this thing is nice. First impressions looking at it on the box is it really delivers. This thing is really nice looking right away. It's a fairly standard looking box. There's nothing special here. I'm not really expecting that, but damn, the thing is nice. It's got, you know, the rivet style bracelets, but then it's also, you know, push pins on the side. So it's very easy to remove. Those are just stylistic. I'm not sure in the Cartier if they're just stylistic or if they're actually used to uh, attach the bracelet. I've never actually seen the Santos in person, but it has very nice, simple elegance. It looks like the Cartier would. It's got the beautiful blue hour, second and minute hand, the Art Deco style for everything. The crown guards, crown screws down as well. This is an automatic watch, which is really nice for Spect and Sewn. And it came in right around $90, which isn't a bad price for an automatic watch, especially one that looks this nice. But let's dive in now. Let's look a little closer at the face and talk a little bit more about this watch in general. So here we are looking at the face up close. This is a very, very nice looking watch. Let's get the dimensions right out of the way. The dial diameter is 44 millimeters. It is 12 millimeters thick, even though it does look a little thicker than that. And the bandwidth is 20 millimeters. Uh, you could, I guess, with a 20 millimeter bracelet replace it, but I don't know if you would want to. I guess there are some leather ones out there that look really nice on the Santo style watches. But I do like the way this watch tapers. The bracelet is quite nice. The butterfly clasp works very well. It feels very sturdy. It sits fairly flush, which is great on one of the Spect and Sewn Aquanauts I have. It doesn't sit super flush. So that is a real nice little addition there that they've kind of worked their clasps out, in my opinion. Very simple back. Japanese movement water resistant stainless steel you do need to unscrew the back here to get into it if you want to look at the movement it's not just a twist case so that is i believe very true to the cartier design close that back up and then the face is just very simple you have a really nice let's see one two three six sided crown which screws out fairly nicely it is a little hard to screw with the crown guards, but it does pop out quite well. You got your date window down there at the six o'clock and everything else is basically true to what the Santos would look like. You have the screws around the face of the watch. It's really, really nice. I'm really impressed with this thing. Honestly, when I bought it, I didn't read the description very well. I just saw that it was a Santos style watch and I wanted one. So I grabbed it. I thought this was going to be an overpriced quartz watch and that was going to be, you know, strike one for it, but it isn't. It is really, really nice and a really well-made automatic watch. So that is a shock to me. You do not get any loom with this watch. So we're not going to show that. That's not really a feature of most Cartier watches. If I am correct i know a lot of them have similar face styles to this where there's nothing to loom they're all just painted on our symbols but let's throw this on the wrist and see how it looks here we are wearing it and man this thing looks good the sizing i think is perfect for, for a 44 millimeter face i don't think it wears nearly as large as you would think 44 millimeters would wear like the Bulova lunar pilot is a, a 45 or a 46 and this feels so much smaller than that does it may also because the the case as you can see there is also somewhat curved i want to pop this off and look at it from the side but yeah, you can see there is the the case isn't really curved it's flat on the bottom but it's the sides that do have a nice little curve to them which i think helps it sit real nice on the wrist and it kind of hugs the top of your wrist it's really, really nice looking and it's really comfortable. It doesn't 
the bracelet I thought would be a little rivety and grab the wrist hairs, but it hasn't done that in the, the full day I've been wearing it, so I don't think that's going to be much of a problem. But I'm really blown away by this. This is going to be a real hard watch for 2024 to beat unless I start buying some crazy things. This, this may get a lot of my wrist time. Jumping into just final thoughts here, this thing is absolutely fantastic. I'm blown away. As TGV says, I am over the moon with this thing. Everything about this is exactly what I would want a Santos to be. And it's making me really, really want to get an actual Santos now. So that may add to the grail list. You know, like I I've always liked the way they looked, but spending the money on them was never a priority of mine or something that I really wanted to actually do aside from admire them from afar. But now that I've actually worn this, it very well might move up the uh, the ranks. Last thing to add for this watch is just the movement. It doesn't list it on the site where I got it from, but I took a deeper dive in, and it should be a Miyota 8215, which lines up with the Japanese theme that it mentions, it being a Japanese movement. This is the product SP0011, so you could try to find those on your own and look for them, but really, really blown away by this watch. Uh, I, I'm honestly at a loss for words here. I don't know what else to say about it. I just feel like I'm, I'm gushing over it to you guys, but this thing is incredible. Um, I'm going to wear this a lot, and let me know if you guys grab one. Let me know what else you want to see this year. I want to put out a lot more videos. Last year was great for me, and January so far has been pretty good views-wise also. So let me know what you guys want to see, and I'll have some new videos out for you fairly soon. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.